So this is going to be my review on the brand new Google Nexus 7, which is a 7 inch tablet from Google. And um, to sum it up, it's amazing. It really is. And basically we'll start with design. I mean it's, it's, it's pretty lightweight. Um, in terms of thickness, it's, uh, you know, it's not going to compare with the iPad or anything, but it's slim enough. And it doesn't feel chunky at all in your hand. It feels very light and, and very um, portable. In terms of the actual finish on it, it's got a really nice textured back which doesn't attract fingerprints at all and it feels very high quality, almost like um, leather in a way and obviously it's allowed them to manufacture the tablet cheap as well as feeling very nice. I mean, in, term in terms of the actual front of the tablet, there's practically nothing on it. I mean, when you turn the screen off, it's just literally, it just looks like a, a slate, a clean slate. So I mean, it it it, did, it is a really well designed tablet. I mean, as you can already tell, the screen is really bright and vibrant, and just looks great. And everything is really slick. So um, first thing I should mention, if you don't already know, that if you buy from Google, um, which is actually the cheapest price anyway, you get also get a free Transformers movie, and a fifteen pound Google Play credit. Or if you're in the US, you get twenty five dollars, which is you know it's just nice. It's a really nice little lecture they've given. Not quite decided what to spend mine on yet, but I mean I'll just give you an idea of what this video will look like on the screen. Because I mean videos and photos just look so so good on the kind of IPS HD screen. As you can probably see for yourself. Put some sound on as well. So yeah, I mean it's really um, gorgeous screen. I mean the colours aren't quite as punchy as like um, the likes of the Anal Aurora 2, if you've heard of that. But I mean still, it's an IPS screen and it's got some great viewing angles. I mean even from like here you can see the screen as if you would straight on. So I mean no real complaints about the screen. And it, it is very bright as well and it's great in daylight as well as you know, say in the comfort of your room, it doesn't actually glare much. So I mean, it's good if you want to be reading lots of books and that kind of thing. And talking about books, they also supplied a free book, which was nice. Okay, we'll move on to games. In terms of games, I will just say it's amazing. It's it just all the games I've tried so far, it plays flawlessly. So I mean, to start with, we'll try Rip Riptide GP, and. Um, this is optimized for Tegra 3, which is obviously NVIDIA's chipset that is in this tablet. And it looks beautiful, you know, it plays pretty nice. I guess it's more of a graphical demo than like a game that you would play for enjoyment. I don't know. But I mean, it just kind of shows the capabilities, really, which are pretty awesome. And I do suck at this game. You know, it runs at a solid 60 frames per second, so no complaints there. And the settings are on their maximum. Oh, well, now they are. And we still get absolutely no lag. So yeah, pretty good looking game. Um, there's obviously the classic Fruit Ninja, which is becoming kind of outdated by today's standards, but I mean, still a good bad benchmark. Yeah, it runs pretty flawlessly. Obviously we have multi-touch here with a, it's up to five, yeah, five point multi-touch, which is pretty standard with the high-end tablets. And it is very easy to forget that this one costs the same price as 
say a lot of the very cheap Chinese knockoffs there are lying around the place. It's, it's literally, and it's very easy to mistake it with a say a three four hundred pound tablet just because it's so slick and so well polished. Because it is the only Android tablet running Jelly Bean at the minute, which is Android's most um, advanced and optimized software. So, um, I mean, as you can see, gaming is awesome. I mean, we'll do one more. Um, so this is a THD game, so it's optimized for Tegra devices as well. And there are quite a few of these games actually. Oh, I don't want to buy it. Oh, load it. I mean, just to show you the picture quality. Just awesome, really. And you don't really need me to tell you that, you can see for yourself. Okay, moving on. Multi in terms of multitasking, again, it's great. Uh, literally, you just close your apps like this. Very simple. And I've been doing a lot of stuff. And then obviously we have the same tab system as we had before in the old older tablets and it's just as optimized and you can swipe to close the apps just as you would before. Um, and um, <coughs> the camera that's currently, well, the camera that you get with the Nexus 7, I mean, it's it'll do, it's not um, great. But, I mean, if you just want to Skype call and do that kind of thing, I mean, it's, it's sufficient. They'll be able to see your face and stuff. But don't expect any HD quality video from that. <coughs> um, the speaker quality is actually really good. Um, even though it's, it's, it's not like dual speakers like you would get on some tablets. Uh, it's a single speaker, but um, the quality is it's very clear. I mean, as you probably heard when we were watching this, Transformers movie. I'll turn it around so you can hear it. This is so exciting. Mr. Whit Wiki? Yeah, search is over. I'm Mr. Whitley. Is anybody else joining? No. No? You want me to move right there? I'll move right For there. Sensei. Ready? Begin. Uh, I graduated this year, major in geopolitics. Money. Yeah. So, you got the idea. Shit. So, um, also, I mean, a thing that a lot of you will be using this tablet for, I mean, is internet browsing, just day-to-day -day kind of surfing. And, I mean, for that, again, works really well. And I might sound like I'm just begging it off the tablet, but there really is not much I can fault it with. We just go pop over to Google. And as you can see, it kind of uses a Google Chrome kind of interface. It does not support Flash, but now everything's moving to kind of HTML5 browsers. That's going to become less and less of a worry. So, um, just for a demo, we'll type in Apple. It's quite a complex site, so this will give you an idea of what it can do. Now, um, so you kind of pinch to zoom. And as you can see, again, it's very responsive. Everything works. Um, go back to the Google search, and I mean, the scrolling is smooth. Your actual load times are also really quick when you're online. And obviously, you can go straight to YouTube, etc. But, and you can obviously open up new tabs and close tabs and multitask quite easily really which is kind of obviously a plus point now I'll say that there is a slight compatibility issue with quite a few apps in the the Play, Play Store um, a lot of them, like maybe games you played on your old Android devices and stuff um, you, you, 
you search them and then it turns out they're not actually compatible with this device. I'm not really sure why, but yeah. Most most of the games, if they don't if you can't download them off the um Play Store, you download the APK files off the internet somewhere and then you can install them indirectly. And that usually works, but for some reason they just don't seem to show up on the App Store on this for some reason. It doesn't really make sense. And I mean the last thing I'm really gonna say is that the battery life is amazing. Um you know Considering the size, you'd expect it to be seriously compromised, and you know, the, considering the specs of this thing, but it literally it can last, um, you know, a whole day just on a single charge. It's really, you know, of, of full usage. Say, say you're watching videos, um, surfing the web, playing games, all of that. I, I reckon, you know, you could, you could get a full maybe 10, 12 hours usage out of it. Because I mean, it's only on, it's on about 50% battery now, and I've been using it, downloading things on it, all sorts for about six seven hours and it you know it's really amazing battery life and also my screen's been you know on almost full brightness which is i mean if you look at full it's even brighter than this which is you know it's really lush and vivid but i think just for in battery life's sake i'll keep it on half so there's my review of the nexus 7 um to sum up uh if you want it and if you can afford it then just buy it, don't really think twice about it. There's that no, nothing I can really fault. I mean, I'm going to be doing a video next, um, probably tomorrow, and um, I'll be comparing it with the Inol Aurora 2 tablet, which is about £85, and you can buy it from China. And yeah, it is a Chinese tablet, and I'll, I'll kind of show you why it's worth that extra bit of money, which it, it, which it definitely is. Although there are also a few cutbacks which you might want to be aware of before you go out and spend your 150 or so quid. So thanks for watching. Rate, subscribe, comment, like. See you next time.